talented Fraulein with big butter bags. We're back with the Liz Wild Show. Yeah, wild on Wednesday, baby. Hey, hey, Rock. Hello, Liz Wild. Yes, siri, <laughs> Bob, Lou, Bob. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah baby. Everybody, Steve and Tyler. Yeah. yeah. In the house. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. That sounds so good, Steve. Liz, how you doing, baby? I'm doing good. We need to catch up a little bit, though. It's been, uh, you know, a year. It yeah. has been. It's too long. What the hell you been doing? Forget about it. I mean, you know, some days it's just not worth chewing through the restraints. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and you have your harmonica there. Why don't you squirt me up some? Oh, that's it. Oh, don't oh, stop. Damn. That's it. No more. Not giving it away. You are such a tease, you I sexy know. man. No. Oh, little know. eyesight for the blind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I so want... you like that album, yeah? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Joe Perry and I were sitting around thinking about, you know, what songs we used to listen to way back in the day that got us thinking about being in a band. And it was those songs. It was uh, Baby, Please Don't Go. Mm-hmm. I oh. won't even tell you what year I heard that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when, you know, the animals and, and uh, it, just that good stuff, you know? The good stuff that everybody took from and stole from. Eric Clapton, the Stones, the Kinks, they all got it from that stuff. And mm-hmm. Sure. So we just decided to put it out, and there you have it, honking on Bobo. And yeah. then you guys, I remember uh, back in the day when I heard Hangman Jury. Yeah. I thought, Lord, that's song. Well, that was, that was, I looked at the credits on that, and it said, Hetty Ledbetter. Yes. Right. Which is really Leadbelly. And what he did was he was a smart guy. In the 50s, he went and got himself a lawyer, took all the all the old field hollers what the people were what everybody was singing as they worked picking cotton mm-hmm. got the songs copy wrote them so he cl- claims that they're his uh, what they really are is everybody busting their chops singing songs so he owns them all wow hence uh-huh. oh boy don't you lie on the track like a war boy so oh. it was just i heard that and like i couldn't believe it listen i, I can't tell you what it's like to to be out there singing "Baby, Please Don't Go" or "I Don't Want to Kiss Your Thing," I, I mean, miss a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I look at and see Joe Perry to my left, and Brad and Tom to the right, and Joey behind me, and I, I can't believe that I'm in a band like this that is just, you know, throwing parties for twenty, thirty thousand people a night. Everyone's still loving it. I am the most, and I just I'm so grateful. I don't want to go on sound like a whining idiot, but I can't believe I'm in a band like this. I, be- I bet I couldn't mm-hmm. imagine waking up like that. I every mean, day. it's such a rush. You know what, though? The reason you're still there is because it sounds like you really appreciate the fact that you're up there doing what you're doing. I I am. You know. And I know how hard it's been to get here, how hard it is to keep it here, and uh, and what a joy it is to walk out there and do an encore, you know, and, and look at Joe Perry, the real thing, you know. You know, smashing his guitar with his shirt, and I mean, you know, they all look so good still, and I just can't believe it. This tour is insane. And don't you guys have special little stage get-ups that you use on this tour too? What do you mean stage well, get-ups? Well, I think I read it somewhere that you have, uh, or maybe that was at the Hard Rock itself, where you had little platforms where some of the band members and you could actually really be close to the audience. Well, no, the stage goes out. We we used to have a ramp that went out, and that was that was beautiful. And we thought, you know, what's what's better than one, two? Yeah, mm-hmm. more is better. So we got two ramps going out. Hold on, my cell phone's ringing. I gotta get rid of this. Hold on, bear with me. That's all right. And uh, two ramps going out, and the only way to get back. To ground zero, which is in front of Joey, is to go down into the audience. Oh, yes. And so we do that every night. It's just a hoot. Joe's got a little thing he can get up and jump on, and, and, and uh, he does a song out there in the audience, and everybody's grabbing him, and, you know, it's just fun. Hey, I don't want to get you depressed or anything, so just tell me if I'm barking up the wrong tree. But yeah. with your with your wife, um, you said that she left you? Yeah, she did. What the hell happened? Mm, just, you know, too much, too much. Uh, the band just got in the way. It was just too much, but I don't want to get personal. Just, it was just uh, one of those things that uh, I never would have thought it happened, but it did. And it was just, you know, it was too much for her to take. No matter where we go, it's just, uh, you know, even in the back streets of Japan. Steven Tyra! <laughs> <laughs> Tyra! <laughs> it got too much for her, and, um, you know... So be it. Yeah. I'll, I'll get. I'll, I'll make it through the other side. We got some beautiful kids, and it's. I mean, it's all is not lost. We're still good friends, and 
You know, well, that's most important. Are yeah. Chelsea and Taj doing okay? Everybody's beautiful. You betcha. Good. That's good. Yeah, you guys that's... got you got those guys out on the road with you? No, I don't. Chelsea's home, going to school and singing her butt off, and yeah. Taj is playing guitar. Wow. Oh, man. you know, but but you know, we got to keep them. You know, it's better that they stay at home and got friends at school and. You know, Joe takes his family on the road, and we do it the other way. They got all their all their people, uh, you know, at home, and you know. Joe does that thing with the theremin too on stage, man. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, those that are badass. That drives me nuts, man. I love that. He won't let me get near it either. Every time I walk <laughs> over, <he's... laughs> I'll fix. It. I'll find something else. You know, we started off with a water phone. We met a guy that had all these crazy instruments from all, all over the world, like nose flutes and, <laughs> and weird things from Africa and, and all over the world. And, and he had this thing called the water phone, which you hear in the beginning of Janie's Got a Gun. Yes. yes. Yeah. I mean, if you saw what that looked like, you thought it would fell out of a UFO. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, we're always into that stuff, looking for new sounds and weird things that people play and, you know. That's it. Well, have you ever used the nose flute in a song? No, just the old days. Snorted a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Got on kunk. Hey, what was it uh, you were nominated for? Or it was an honorary doctorate degree that uh, UMass gave you? Um, I guess if you live in town with a college town long enough, they start throwing things at you. <laughs> yeah, what was that all about? A doctor of thinkology. I went <laughs> off on him one day. They asked me what I thought about something, and I just, two hours later, I was still going. <laughs> <laughs> but as I always say, all who wander are not lost, and I'm proof of that. <laughs> yeah, well, man, uh, I wish to hell I could come and see you tomorrow, baby, but I'm going to be sitting right here, so I will catch you, uh... On the next uh, leg of the tour somewhere. Okay, I don't know. Okay, well, we... I'll be sending sweet dreams. I'll tell everybody you said hello from the stage. You got it, you baby got it. Kate. Okay, y'all. You take right, it easy, Steve. Steven Tyler from Aerosmith, 96K Rock.